Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. It's part five of my uh, John Deere LA-105 tractor. As you guys know from my uh, last video, I was having fuel delivery problems. So I tried uh, three different fuel pumps, two regular pulse plastic ones, one OEM, one third party, uh, and also I bought an electric uh, fuel pump which pumped too much gas. Uh, the black plastic one seems to uh, not get enough gas. So this engine was designed uh, for gravity fed. And so while I actually did get it to uh, run right, I had some kind of, here, I'll show you. So what happened was I had a valve, kind of similar to a shutoff valve, where I would just turn the uh, shutoff valve to halfway so that not as much fuel was getting sucked through here, you know what I mean? And that controlled the uh, gas, and that worked pretty well. However, uh, I think because it impedes the it impedes the amount of flow with that valve, this thing was working extra hard to suck, you know what I mean? And so it burned out. So I said, oh, the hell with that, man. I had it, you know? So uh, fortunately, you guys remember my uh, John Deere... RX-75 uh, rear engine riding mower, well that had a gas tank on there that I wasn't using. And it was big enough so that, you know, um, <laughs> it was big enough so that it would carry a decent amount of fuel. You know, not those small lawnmower ones where, you know, you're going to end up filling that thing up after, every, after every uh, five passes or so. So this is a, uh, at least a riding mower gas tank. And you know what, man? It fits right in there and it doesn't touch the flywheel, you know what I mean? Just It's just right in there, you know? So, uh, as you can see, I have it hooked up there into this valve. This was the valve I was using to control the amount of flow of fuel. And uh, I'm just going to use that as a uh, shutoff valve for this. Goes into the fuel filter, gravity fed, goes straight down, boom, right into the carburetor. Yeah. Steady, smooth. This is on low idle. Full throttle. Of course, uh, because of this, I had to remove the uh, the ram air thing, you know? And this way, I can close the hood. So, it gets air through there, you know? I also hooked up the lights. Lights work. The stator also is connected. However, it doesn't really generate that much electricity. It maintains a 12.3 or so voltage to the battery. I'm gonna have to mess with that a little bit on later. I've got uh, other things I gotta do. Uh, like for instance, I gotta find the double pulley. Now the double pulley that I have is the smaller one. I think I need the bigger one over here. Because if I install this, I don't think my mower deck's gonna work. I think the belt's gonna be too long for that. So I think I need the uh, bigger pulley. But uh, anyway, man, I've got a gravity-fed gas tank now in my John Deere LA-105. Look at that, it runs great. 
runs super duper, man. I'm glad I got that figured out. I mean, uh, it's a little rudimentary, you know, not stock. But I mean, I'm telling you, I could not find a way to get gas flowing from the back to the front efficiently, you know. Those, uh, the stock um, fuel pumps, they didn't work right. The electric ones shot too much fuel and it was running too rich, flooding the engine every time. Tried to control that, but once you start restricting the amount of flow for the electric ones, motor burns out. Motor got really hot, stopped pulsing, and uh, you know, when it gets really hot like that, with gas, that's dangerous. So I said the hell with that, chucked it out. Gravity fed fuel tank. Runs stupendous. I just gotta get a double pulley, put it on there, put the belts on. This thing's good to go. And I like it so much I might even keep it. Because this fits in my backyard. 42 and uh, 42 inch wide, so it fits in my, uh, my gates. I'm gonna get some yellow paint and paint that up. Some black paint, you know, touch it up a little bit. Runs great. And found the magneto wire too, so right to the switch shuts off the engine. So uh, I'm pretty stoked. It did take me all morning, you know, to do this, but uh, I'm still not done yet. Still got to get that double pulley and uh, get that on there. See you guys later. Stay tuned for my double pulley install. Maybe we'll get this thing mowing and running. See you guys next time.